Thought I'd show everybody my one of my new rides. Just picked this bike up. It's going to be a project for me. Uh, a little seventy-nine dollar bike at Walmart. I added the uh, luggage rack with the case and the handlebar rack. And of course, I added the uh, let's see here. the water bottle and the air pump. It's got the the fenders on it. Right now, it's the middle of winter, so I won't be riding it hopefully for a while. But it's going to be a great summer bike. I'm thinking about putting one of those uh, little gasoline motors on this thing and making it a powered uh, uh, bicycle. Uh, this is the uh, Cranbrook, Cranbrook from Walmart. It's a cheap bike, but I've seen a lot of good reviews on it. Now this little water bottle thing, I've, I've already checked, and my insulated metal uh, Stanley bottle will fit in there and lock in. Uh, so here, I added this little headlight to it. Uh, it's got a in this handlebar bag, which I, you know, plan to keep stuff in. I've got a few tools in here that are inexpensive, so if somebody steals them, I won't be out of it very much. This is a good sized uh, pouch in the back. I've got some tools right here, and of course the cables to lock it up. A lot of people don't understand the quality of a, you know, the necessity of having a bicycle. It's good for exercise. And, you know, when all else fails, it can make a halfway decent bug out vehicle. This thing right here, uh, you don't need gas. Now, if I get the motor, I'll still be able to pedal it even with the motor on it, so it'll be two options. But those motors are usually have like a 75 mi uh, gallon capacity on them, or 75 miles per gallon capacity on them, or more. So, but, you know, I thought that, you know, this would be a good little idea for my, you know, for a last ditch bug out vehicle. And I think it's a good looking bike, too. Thank you.